Tonsa Wild Killer here, and we're back with another chapter of Always With You, the second book to Never Forget Us. This is chapter two. Chapter two is called Under Pressure. And we're going to start this off with Zane's point of view. Well, I... I had a one-night stand with someone else in New York, he states, covering his face in his hands. I've done this for you. I loved you unconditionally. And you go behind my back? I could feel tears forming, but wipe them away. Why would you do that? I thought you loved me, I retorted, but my voice cracked. I'm on the verge of tears, but I have to be strong. This is the last time I want to break down. I do, Zane. Don't ever doubt that. But well, I was having a rough time without you. I couldn't be there alone, he muttered. So you go behind my back and have a relationship with someone else? She forced me to. She wouldn't leave me alone. What kind of excuse is that? Lucinda wouldn't stop. She put me under so much pressure, and she wouldn't stop asking. So you decide to fool around with her? Zan- I cut him off. I don't want excuses. I want the truth. Zan- Travis, I'll drive you back to the guy's place, but I think after that, we should take a break. I mumbled. My mother said to never give cheaters a second chance. But Travis, I know he's the one. I'd do anything for him, even if he isn't. No one has loved me like he has, not even my two brothers. He got me through the toughest time in my life. Without him, I probably wouldn't be here. I owe him everything. He gulped and gave a quick nod. The drive home was silent, filled with thoughts of what he just told me. We stopped at my house and parked his car. Travis grabbed his luggage and walked out to my brother's house, leaving me alone. Travis's point of view. Flashback. Come on, Travis. No one needs to know. I haven't been with a girl in years. And I've got a boyfriend back home. He doesn't need to know, Travis. It can just be us. She put her finger over my lip and pulled me closer to her. Lucinda, Travis, just give me one night. Damn it, Lucinda. I can't do this to Zane. What he doesn't know can't hurt him. If I give you one night, will you leave me alone for the rest of time? Of course. Come on, Travis. Don't be a buzzkill. Fine, but I'm not gonna going to enjoy this. I will. Stop, Lucinda. End of flashback. I'm so stupid to do this to Zane. Under pressure? But my decision caused this. I walked by back I walked back into the guy's house and walked into my room. I slammed my face into the pillow, which was quickly soaked by my tears. I fucked up bad. Really badly. I didn't call him for months. I felt, so I felt so ashamed that I did something like that with a girl that I knew very well. A girl I considered my friend. I gave up my body to her because she put me under pressure. But I won't be able to be I won't I wouldn't be able to live with lying to him. He deserves the truth. Zane doesn't deserve a fabrication of the truth. He deserves every part of it. And if I were him, I wouldn't forgive myself. Damn. <laughs> yeah, uh, what the author note says there is woot woot. <laughs> Time for an emotional roller coaster. <laughs> so, hope you guys are buckled in for that. Like if you liked. Comment what you think's gonna happen next. Or just I don't know. <laughs> uh, subscribe if you want to, and I'll see you guys in the next chapter. See ya.